Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So today I wanted to show you some of the exercises that I did immediately after having uh, both my hip replacements. So that's pretty much what these exercises are for um, post hip surgery, immediately after uh, having hip surgery. So you are not going to be beginning with cross legs like I am here. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing ankle uh, pumps. And this is, as you probably know, to prevent getting blood clots, which is of course a major concern after having hip surgery. So we're just going to do a few of them. It's a really nice uh, day today outside. <laughs> the tree outside is looking really pretty, the sun's all shining on it, it's really nice and sunny out. So it's a very nice day. Okay, and then we're just going to do some ankle circles, going one way and then the other. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, and then kind of come down all the way for this next one. Make sure that you can see all of me. Okay. So this is an ab exercise, and the reason. Well, let me kind of get into it here. So first of all, you're going to curl your pelvis. So you're going to do like a C kind of shape squishing your back into the bed or wherever you're laying on and then we're going to come up like this and you definitely want to be putting all the tension into your core not um into your back you don't want to hurt your back you want to just like squish your stomach so that it pushes your back into the floor or well in your case probably on the bed um and then just gonna hold it like this anyway uh, the reason this is so important is to make sure that uh, your insides, well, your stomach is staying active and uh, you're continuing to have an appetite, that's really important, and then also that you're uh, continuing to go to the bathroom, because that can be a major issue after having surgery and having a bunch of heavy duty pain medications. Uh, in your system because they can slow everything down as I know from experience and honestly that can be worse than the pain post-surgery I have to say so that's why I think this is very important um, if you wanted you could even do like little mini crunches kind of like this but you might be you know it might be really easy to get dizzy uh, post-surgery for me it was so if you don't want to do that then I highly recommend just sitting stationary and just continuing to activate your ab muscles and whatever you do just make sure that you are um, not going past like don't squish your legs up too much like way up here um, you don't want to do anything that kind of pushes you past 90 degrees. Anyway, so let's do one more. Okay. Whew. All right. So if you need to take a rest, then take a rest. And then the next thing we're going to do, I don't want to put my legs up too much, um, is we're going to be doing bridges. So make sure everything is nice and lined up and tense up your butt. Well, you're going to be lifting from that area, so. And then just going to come up. You don't have to come up a whole ton. Um, I am quite a long ways recovered, so I can come up quite a bit, but you probably are uh, not able to come up very much. You probably don't have a ton of strength in that area right now. So that's one. So like you probably just saw, um, we're just coming up and then coming back down again, but you're squeezing. You can squeeze through the entire thing if you like, or you can just kind of come up and then squeeze at the top and then gently come back down. Um, I do prefer to do it just squeezing the entire way. 
because it um, definitely feels like it gives a lot better control, so. I think that's five. One thing I have a hard time with is counting. I do end up kind of rambling about whatever. Well, I try to keep it relevant, but when I do talk about other stuff, I tend to have a hard time keeping track of the numbers. Uh, so maybe seven? I hope. Eight. Nine. And ten. Well, I'm gonna say that's ten. But uh, anyway, so, and then the last thing, so I'm gonna take my feet out a tiny bit. Um, the last thing we're going to do is just single leg lifts. So actually, you know what, just give it a second. Just let everything rest for a second um, because it's probably gonna start to wear out your body pretty quickly at this point. Okay, now I'm gonna come back up again. And when you are ready, go ahead and join me. Okay, so now take your leg out, and I believe you should start with the um, the leg that you've had surgery on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick it up, lift it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oof. And then just even it out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side. So. I don't know why, but it's a lot easier on this side for me. Although this is the second, uh, the side that I had my s second surgery on, so it has not had as many. They're five months apart, and so this side will never have had quite as much time to have healed as the other side. Um, I don't know how many that was. Okay, I'm gonna say that was nine, and then ten. Okay. Whew. Let's just lay flat for a minute. Ugh. Okay. Just rest. If you got through all those exercises, then great job, because I know that's very, very hard to do that stuff right after surgery. So, how was that routine for you? Um, I just wanted to provide you with basically the equivalent of having, well, nothing is going to be quite the same as having a physical therapist, but that way, um, with this routine, you can just, you know, pop it on whenever you want to uh, do the routine, which, I mean, yeah, you're probably not going to want to, but whenever you need to do the routine, you don't have to wait for your physical therapist um, that way. Although, you know, it's definitely helpful to have them kind of like get you started so that you know how to move properly. And then you can kind of just take it from there and just do it when you're ready rather than, you know, being kind of forced to do it whenever the person is there. So that's definitely what I kind of wanted to accomplish with this video and the other videos um, that are in this series as well. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Uh, if you do subscribe so you're notified whenever I put out a new video, I put out a new video every single week and I will see you on the next video. Bye.